Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we want to show you how we try to solve a problem with a big divergence of a diode laser. So as you know the crystal of the diode laser it looks like this. So and it means that even with a good uh, lens you still get a, a, a laser beam spot like a rectangle. So we want to make it as a square or at least a uh, rectangle with a smaller uh, with a smaller uh, sizes so we actually made a, we constructed a, a new optical mechanism let me show you so uh, there is a lens installed here it's it called semi cylindrical lens so it's already installed I hope that you guys see it and this lens actually has to make a rectangle uh, transform rectangle into a square so we added uh, special screws that we can move this lens up and down and we also have a, another lens that is semi spherical it's already here and uh, we made it in our metal workshop so, okay you can see it here lens is here so uh, now we're going to show you some results we got so you can just uh, see what we're working on at the moment okay uh, Maxim let's start uh, with a very simple uh, simple thing okay. Okay, everything is set. Let me make sure that you can see everything. So, first of all, we want to show you how we convert a rectangle into a square. So, we're going to install it on the laser diode. Okay. So you can see it right here. Okay, so you see that we transformed it almost in a square. So we have some some artifacts still. We're working on that, how to remove them. But you see that initial uh, rectangle was transformed into a square okay it's minimum power of the laser okay and now we are going to add a, a spherical lens on the end so you see that Maxim is actually screwing and uh, positioning the laser diode in the right position comparing to a laser lens so that's a part called laser alignment so now we can add a bigger lens uh, that you'll see how we transform it into into a spot so this is a basic um, uh, range from the laser to lens now we're going to to get a focus let me actually decrease this so so you'll see um, a clear image decreasing decreasing so it's pretty hard to see I can uh, just show you that we have some artifacts on the right and on the left however but uh, you can also see a small spot in the center so you see that now it's square smaller 
very smaller tiny square. The problem is with the a spherical lens that it's not enough of optical power so this square is quite big so we will decrease it and make it even smaller so this uh, size of a square should be should be much less but anyway it's a good way to start getting a smaller smaller laser beam spot another thing that I want to show you with this lens that uh, a spherical lens can be used independently. Let's use just a spherical lens without uh, and we'll show you that with, with this spherical lens you can actually beam somewhere here and you can see that you can get a very oops, very very tiny spot so uh, it's actually a great uh, result because now you can get a quite tiny spot for a diode laser on a pretty long uh, range from the uh, laser diode oh, from yes from the laser diode so it's almost like two meters or maybe two and a half actually uh, so I hit a, a meter multimeter uh, laser meter let's measure the device uh, let's measure range Yeah, it's 2 and uh, 79 meters from a surface. So that's that's pretty good. So and you have minimum divergence with these uh, with these uh, aspherical aspherical lens. So that's actually what we were planning to show you this um, today. We are working on uh, laser lens improving laser beam quality probably will take us another another month or so to make a final and new construction uh, of uh, laser lens and do some alignments we'll keep you updated and I we plan to have some some really really good results in focusing uh, diode lasers so hope that you like this video, please share it with your friends, add comments and we'll be happy to keep you updated. Bye bye.